Okay. Have you ever dreamt about saying, Hey Google, make four cups of strong coffee. You have? Me too. Okay, so we'll just listen to the beautiful sound of the coffee grinder and I will tell you everything about this soon. Okay. Just be patient. Watch Aww. out. Coffee is coming up. All right. So, this is my almost completely automated coffee brewer. And I would like to tell you all about it. Not everything, but a couple of things. So, the basic functionality is that I asked Google for a specific amount of cups. Then my home automation server takes over. I'm running Raspberry Pi with OpenHab. So OpenHab fills the water tank, starts the coffee grinder. It's actually a modified coffee grinder. I've installed a small relay for the coffee grinder to start grinding as soon as it gets power. Otherwise, without this relay, we would have to press the button for the grinder to start. So it's a modified grinder. Okay. When the grinder is done, OpenHab turns the coffee brewer on. So that's the basics, but I have some extra features which uh, come, they come with this little fine button here. And we will start by pressing one, up. Coffee machine is now prepared and ready for the next brew. Okay, so this is us telling the server that we've emptied the previous pot, it's clean, and we've inserted a new filter kind of a safety feature so you won't be able to brew twice without manually pressing this button in between. Otherwise you could end up with a, uh, one pot on the floor, for example. And we, want, we don't want that. So it's a safety feature. Okay, uh, we will long press on zero. Zeroizing filter counter. Eight okay. new fresh filters registered. Okay, so it has a filter counter, keeps track Keeps track on how many filters we have left and reminds us to buy new filters when we're running low. As soon as you open that fresh box of new filters, you just zeroize the counter. Okay? Long press on one. Zeroizing bean counter. Ah. I am filled up and ready to grind. Ooh. A bit dirty. Uh, okay. It has a bean, be bean counter as well. So it keeps track on the amount of beans that are left and as soon as we're getting low, we're not going to be able to make uh, another pot before we serialize the counter and refill the beans. So yeah, that's the, that's the features with this button. I have one extra security feature as well uh, here in the back. I have a water sensor that if for some reason the water tank would be overfilled as soon as the water reaches the water sensor in the top of the water tank the water supply will automatically sh turn off so that's a safe thing i guess a lot of people would say that water and home automation maybe not maybe it's not the best idea but I've taking some precautions so I'm, I feel pretty safe. I also have a manual switch here so when I'm, when I'm gone I, I turn it manually off. So I think it's pretty safe. Yeah, the coffee, oh, the coffee is done. I will grab myself a cup. I hope that I, I have inspired someone, maybe. Home automation is the future. And long live the king. Mm. Mm. This is, this, it's just, it's magic. Mm.